Cyberbrainer is an online training platform designed to help individuals and teens learn the latest technologies and become certified professionals producing a comprehensive learning experience. So these are effectively the fields that we call as prompt fields in my reporting definition. So all those fields which are listed over here worker types, employee type and contingent worker types are what are called as my prompting fields or prompt fields in my report structure. And where do you see? It is in the prompt tab. In my prompt tab, I'll be able to see all of the report, all the fields that I have over here. So I go across to edit of my reports. I do not have a prompt field. Okay, simple report I created. Let me copy this report and put it as an advanced report, and then I'll just come across to that. I want to change this as well. This is going to be crazy. Okay. This is coming back to this particular report, because I'm not able to make changes to that report. I'm just trying to clear the error over here. We have like 7 fields over, which I believe I do not have the access over here, to make some changes in that. So let's see, I'm just trying to clear them out. I should fix the errors. 54, 39. Let me just clear this in a minute. All right. Good. So here, if you see, I was just talking about prompt fields. So basically, what from fields are is when I run my report, what are the fields that it is going to prompt me for a value over here? Now, if you see, we have three prompts over here. One is employee type, contingent worker type, and worker type. So this is the I think what they find worker standard report, which I cloned, and in any report, the prompt fields are nothing but all those fields which are going to be available when I'm going to be running a report. What are the prompt values that I see over there on the screen? So that is what is called as prompt fields, and I can edit them at any point of time and find out what are the prompt values that I want. And I can also customize it as per my own requirements. And if I want to say that I do not want them to prompt for a value every time, I can also make changes to this, just like see if you see over here in this particular prompt. I have employee type and it might default type if I want to default it to a certain value, something like for an employee type. If I want to default it to only regular, I can default it. If I want to have some default value assigned to it, I can do it. 
And again, I have another option over here which is going to say, do not prompt at runtime. So now let me just play around with this and then show you. So what I did over here was I ran this particular report, Arian find workers, but it did not give me any prompt values because in my prompt option, I had set the prompt option as do not prompt at runtime for all the three fields which are available. Now I'm going to uncheck this, and then I'll show you what exactly happens. It just seems to be quite slow today. Let's see over here. I'm just going to remove the prompt, do not prompt at runtime option for my employee type, and let's see what happens. So for the previously I had, do not prompt at runtime, for all the three fields which are available. Now I'm going to have it removed, just for the employee type. And then I come back to my report and let me run it once and show you what exactly it will do. So see over here. If I'm going to have a prompt value, I can prompt the user to provide some prompt value. And again, this is not mandatory at the moment. If I want to also make it as mandatory, I can make it as mandatory. Otherwise, I'm going to simply ignore this, and I can bypass from providing any relevant value for my employee type. For my employee type, it is not mandatory for me to provide a value. If I want to ignore it, I can as well ignore it and run my report, and it is not going to impact any of my reporting results. It's going to return all the same rows as well. And again, that can also be controlled in my prompting options. So clear on what exactly a prompt does, what exactly we can do with a prompt. And if I want to make it as required, I can make it as required over here as well. This particular field. If I'm going to check it, that particular prompt field is going to become required. So, which means that there should definitely be a value, which is going to be provided for my prompt. For any user. Now you have just had this particular find workers report. I want this find workers report to be narrowed down, based on my own supervised organization only. I'm giving an additional option for the user to run based on certain search or find or filter criteria. I want to filter down based on my worker's information. Then I can filter down that particular irrelevant information as well. Clear on that. And I can do a whole host of filtering as well. For example, this particular find workers report. In my prompt, I can add a supervisory organization over here. So let me show you that. Say, my requirement is in my find workers report, I should only be able to view all the workers in my own supervisory organization. I should not view any workers who's outside of my supervisory organization. It is effectively my team's kind of a report. So what I will do over here is I will just put over here a supervisory organization. Okay. Okay. I understand this some kind of an issue over here. Let me do a little differently over here. Because if I'm going to put a supervisory organization over here, I need to bring it in my columns and my search results over here as well. Okay. 
So I'm just choosing the worker's primary supervisory organization and if I want to create a filter for this. Okay, let me go across to the I missed that particular field. So if I want to build a field over here, since this is actually a search type of a report, I'm not able to put this particular supervisory organization in my prompt values. That is effectively what is happening over here. And I need to make some more changes over here in order for me to get those values over here. That's why I didn't have it over here. So we'll build an advanced report tomorrow, and that time I will show you actually more filth. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.